Yo, know, Mike is really cutting up your speech a lot. Yeah. He's probably needs cleaning again. Now they're late. Yeah, I'll go owling about for a few windows. Um, most of the people inside seems to be uh, surprised, scared, annoyed because their house is a mess. You can see inside the gremlins have done a very good job, but hey, people are on edge. Y'all, uh. It just occurred to me, uh, this is OOC, it just occurred to me that in this town, everyone's houses got, you know, suddenly messed up. And there does happen to be like a group of strangers camped outside that they weren't keeping oh, an eye yeah. on while they uh, were in church. Yeah, we might want to drive away like right now. You might want to, yes. Leaving okay. the scene of the crime. Just Someone like take the wheel. Let's go. Hmm. I'll latch okay. onto the mirror in my owl form. <laughs> and you begin to drive back uh, after, well, this uh, eventful night. And it's kind of quiet on the road, and. Well, I would like to know what are your plans now? First thing, report to Damas, I think. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah. I don't know if we can make it to New Iberia in like a night or if we should oh, yes. stop at the first. Oh. oh, we can? Okay, so yeah, let's just do that. Go back to the freehold report and see what we do next. Uh, you're not sure if the king is going to be available in the middle of the night, though. Right. No, no, no. Like after, like after, like, after sleeping, yes. we go All back right. to our, our little uh, place and sleep because I'm sure. tired. A little hollow. Sure, then. You go back into your hollow in the middle of the night. I'm guessing you all begin to sleep. Yep. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yep. Cool. You all have a restful sleep, uneventful night, no, no dreaming, at least none that you can read. Really Remember outside a few fragments. Um, you wake up around it. Depends. It's not really. It's depends if you want. Some of you want to go to their work or otherwise. Uh, uh, my work as being a musician, so I might. I might want to go and like do some work for a while. And I. And I have a private detective, so if someone's going to be looking for those information on someone else. <laughs> I'm jobless, so I go running. Yeah, Ren's a freeloader. <laughs> I'm going to have to at least show for the show up for the morning shift. Yep. Because I called in sick yesterday. Can't really have much more of this going on. So I'll, you... I'll, I'll, I have to go. Yeah, I'll go to work as well, like, uh, I don't know, I don't know if I have an agent or something, uh, uh, managing gigs or whatnot, or if I just play in bars. I know you that I play in the bar, just, which is my touchstone. Yeah. You more or less just play in your bar and, you know, get tips and... Okay, well, I'll go, the... I'll go play in uh, La Rue à l'Aube, which is my touchstone. Yes. All right. So, most of us end up spending the morning doing something, and I guess those of us who don't have, like, a whole eight-hour shift can go and uh, meet with the king. None of you really has a job that is that demanding. That uh, one <laughs> job is, you know, just morning shift, basically. And uh, Yeah, we can meet in the afternoon. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Twitch, you can regain some point for running with a touchstone, uh, some cl uh, clarity damage. Uh, oh, uh, restore clarity? Yes, interacting with a touch and restore clarity. Okay, sweet. Uh, same for Lucy. She had, she had any. Did you, you know. say and willpower or just change it up? Uh, no, I didn't have any clarity no, damage. Just clarity, but you all okay. regain a point of repair for sleeping. 
All right, just a question. Uh, the, the bar is my touchstone, and one of my aspirations is to keep it open because it, uh, and it's it's a bit um, kind of a yes in a bad state. So you know, are they doing okay? Uh, uh, can they make a role for I don't know, helping them or maybe trying to attract customers with my music or something. That's gonna be hard because you can't really attract customers because people. I heard you here. I'm gonna hear your music, but uh, you not really. You're not going to be really able to summon people with your music right now. No, but... not necessarily summon people, but like with, uh, playing in front of the like bar for breakfast. You know, breakfast. Yay! Come sure. have breakfast here. Sure, but uh, right now, like just in one day, you're not going to be able to do much to help them. The business is going slow, but okay-ish. You know, there's not a lot of. People, but uh, still enough to have the kitchen runs. So, yeah, it's it could be better. That's I mean, I'm happy. Um, I'm, I'm glad. I, I wasn't expecting like to fix this thing in one day. Just if I, I don't know, yeah. like it's, it's a long-term thing, so it's like a running. Yeah, no. If you really want to help them fix them, you're gonna have to. You think you're gonna have to come up with something? Yeah, right no, I'll think about it later. All right. Um, I believe you guys all meet uh, in the beginning of the afternoon. You all go back to to the court of the king. Yes, to the freehold. Mm -hmm. uh, you see that the freehold has already just there they were going to some redecoration and Today is, it's done, like the color of spring and heraldry of uh, spring has been replaced by that of summer. There's a lot of uh, yellow and red uh, all around uh, inside the freehold proper. There is some, you don't know who came, but there is some decoration on the wall that have been freshly painted of uh, a spear, the sun. That sort of thing. Uh, none of you really. Um, I don't know if you, I already don't know your occult score. Mine is a uh, two. I've none. Oh, I have sorry. one. Sorry. Yeah. What would you... I I didn't catch that. Occult. Occult. I've got I two. do not have any occult. But if it's like a like sun and spears, can't Damien like maybe know what it means? Oh it's, yeah, you know, you know what it means. It's uh, it's the heraldry of summer. That everyone knows. Uh, those that have occult, you probably know that um, if they redecorate each season, it's well, it's uh, you. It's political, that's for sure. But it's also to you know keep your bargain up with your season. So that's a good sign. Ah, uh, so part of their duties as yeah. king, basically. Yes. Very neat. Uh, as soon as you enter, you a wizened Enzo. I come near you. Hello. Come greet you, sorry. Not me. Hello. Can I help you with anything? I would like to, uh, if it's possible, uh, report to uh, the king about the mission he gave us uh, to, you know, tell him what we found out and maybe get more instructions. Of course. Let me check. I'll go see with him. Just a second. He leaves you in the main hall uh, and goes up the stairs. He disappeared for like five minutes before coming back and say, Yes, the king is ready to see you. Please follow me. Thank you. Once again, he escorts you to the same room as yesterday. You enter, and once again, Damas is sitting on the throne. I mean, uh, so just one thing, Emmerich, I'm not present for this scene. I'm at work, right? No, it's what's your morning shift. Like, it's in the afternoon now. Oh, all right. You're done for... You, your work is... You no, know, it's demanding, it's physical, but it's not 
really long. Well, it's long in the morning, but it doesn't does not take you all day. You know, don't go all all the city the city in one day. It's uh, spread out. Uh, all right. Yeah, nine to five. Yeah. Oh, nah, not really. It's more like five to nine. Yeah. <laughs> Demas uh, just said to you to come closer. The room is really, really, really big. Uh, those of you that have uh, a spring code knows that the room is usually used as a ballroom when it's spring. And that's why it's so, well, voluminous. But apparently Demas just using up a throne room, not really anything mm, else. You know, bowls are nice. Why can't we have summer bowls? I like bowls. There's music. Uh, there's, you know, uh, they still have, have celebration in spring. But that's not really the focus of the king dish. <laughs> yeah, instead of, summer so, yeah. Ball, instead of summer balls, I'd imagine they'd have summer brawls instead. Ah, uh, yeah, that's <laughs> nice too. I, I, I agree with that. Summer I mean, pit uh, fights. I'll, I'll, I love yes. how, you know? Summer, yeah. summer celebration are more like uh, a challenge, physical or mental challenge. You know, there's a game. It's, it's, it's nice, but it's a bit different for spring. All right. Uh, you all bow, I guess. I, I think you, well. Right, we, oh, yeah, we yeah, understand yeah. 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 Some of you better than other, but that doesn't seem to bother them as. Which um that just for Ren come closer. <coughs> Ren comes closer. <laughs> uh as you kneel in front of a throne, Damas uh, quietly and uh pick his crown up from him bro and just you know, reclaim his crown. As soon <laughs> as he does, uh your breastplate disappear and the breastplate made of leaves of, of mahogany branches and leaves appears in Damas. Nice. Okay. Go back and sit in his room. So, what have you discovered? Tell me everything. Well, there's a changeling hiding out in the town. First and, and foremost. And it's been doing business with someone called the Hive King? The, the Hive Keeper. The hive, hive Keeper. keeper. Sorry. Who seems to not be a fae, but is living in the hedge. Uh, we uh, went there and we spied on their celebrations, and uh, apparently the humans are worshipping the changeling who sheds her mask to show her true appear appearance to them. Uh, and there, yeah, there appears to be some kind of bargain she's made with the um, hive keeper, uh, and uh, she hasn't been able to do pay make payments lately, apparently. So the there was a bunch of uh, gremlins who came in the city to wreck stuff up in people's houses during the celebration, and so we had to run because uh, we know we had we had asked questions uh, in the morning, and we thought that if they thought we had wrecked stuff up in the house, it would be dangerous to stay around. And also, in addition, the vicar lied to us. She told us that mm -hmm. the the child was taken from it from his house when we know for a fact that um, he was taken from the church at night. Yes, and since the name they give, gave the police uh, is not the same as the name Bastion uh, uh, is giving us, and there's no sign of older brother that might be Bastion's fetch, uh, we think that it might not even be like their, their baby from there, and they might have taken it from somewhere else. We didn't confirm which house or family the baby came from. Uh, they were not forthcoming with information. This changeling. Were they alone? Uh, it's the only changeling we saw. 
and we asked the gremlins for information and uh, they told us that there is only one well it told us of only one did they belong to any court no not that we could see and they also made a whole ceremony in front of the humans and then they seem like they 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 humans could see them in the in their form damas thinks for a moment he seems concerned i see anything else They seem to worship her. She was very pretty, but I don't think that's to worship her. Describe her to me exactly. Uh, she has a dark skin, golden hair, like hair made of gold, very long. Very long. Uh, gold. Yeah, very long gold hair. Uh, it shines. Oh, yeah, that's. Oh, yeah. I, I understand why you okay. Uh never mind. Yeah, it's golden hair and um she dances really well. She, she dances as a form of worship uh for them. And there was something very off about her. What do you mean? A, a feeling, nothing visual. Describe it. Yeah, ST, how exactly did that feel? <laughs> you, like, familiar, scary. You, she was beautiful. She, you should have found her beautiful, but she is. But you don't really know why, you, like, there's something about her that a whole appearance, a whole demeanor. You're not exactly sure. It just, you have a gut feeling that she's, you don't want to be near her. Okay. It was... She felt familiar, in a way. And... I suppose, frightening. Off. I... Any names, surnames, titles, entitlements? Mm, we didn't hear any. Uh, no, what was the name of the church? The church had a name. The Church of a Blissful Lady. Of the Blissful Lady? No, was, That's... It, it was the Golden Bridge Community. Yes. Yeah, the bridge yeah. is called the Golden Bridge Community, and the church is called the Church of the Blissful Lady? Oh, the Blessed Lady, one of those. So she might be the Blissful Lady. She, she might be. Like a <clears throat> lady. You know, it seems obvious in retrospect now. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it also blends in with the majority of the Catholic churches around here. So it's, <clears throat> lots of churches have that kind of name. Yep. Uh, Your damas, he does not shoot, but he he raises his voice and uh, to be heard from the end of a room and say, Enzo's. Bring me the record of the freehold. You wait one or two minutes, and then you see Endo bring a big, it seems holdish, leather bound volume. He brings it to the king, begins to open it, read it while not, he doesn't pay any attention f at, um, to you for about five minutes. For clothing books, giving it to Enzo and say, and then he looks at you and say, Very well. I. We don't have any record of such changing passing through a freehold. We don't have any record of someone called the Hive Keeper. As for the child, Bastion, the child seems to be. What we gather from the police record, yes, the child seems to have come from this community. 
doesn't seem to have been kidnapped. Well, prior to Bastions. It's very concerning that Shantling is what she's doing. She's cutless in the middle of nowhere with no support, makes deal with the locals, maybe with a gentry or hobgoblins. And from what you told me, Bastion took his cha this chat from the church at night. My belief is that she's either extremely deluded or loyalist. In any case, a presence so close to a freehold is it's trouble. It's troubling. At the very least on the surface it doesn't seem like they're up to anything other than being there, but the concern is of course could they? I have I have a concern. I ha I have one concern. Uh, if the baby is from this community, uh, as you said, the police record shows, that means that um, if Bastion is saying the truth, that means he was too from this community, but there are no traces of him. And when we asked, they said that uh, the person didn't have an older brother. Uh, the baby didn't have an older brother and he seems way older than him so I'm wondering if he was from the same community and he was taken by a fae that doesn't that doesn't gel uh, with the fact that you know she's on her own and she seems safe at least so but why would a child get kidnapped from a community that seems to be safe I do not know but the bastion the darkling is not mentally well. I do believe he has been out of a town for a very, well, maybe a month or so. As for her being alone, then, what did you say, Twitch, that she didn't seem to be up to anything? Is right. Just... She seems to live in the church, she came out to dance, and then she just went back to her own quarters, I guess. Damas leans uh, over you from his throne and says, and it's changely, living alone, wor being worshipped by humans, is either in the thrall of a true fae or not far from being worse of being one. No changeling can survive alone. I agree. This this is disconcerting. If you want to see her, I think um, uh, since uh, I think it was Martin that uh, or Twitch that used a contract to see inside the church, uh, could you do that again? If you want to see her for yourself, he might be able to do it again. If they were out dancing. I don't know if they do that every night. But, I guess the concern is, what do we do about this now? Apparently she broke the contract with this hive, uh, keeper. She, yeah, missed, missed a payment. If the hive keeper isn't a fae or a loyalist, or is actually safe, maybe that would be the point to try to investigate next. I would like you to go investigate on this hive keeper, yes. In the meantime, I will send some of my men, more experienced, watch this community. We will try to make contact with her if we deem it to be appropriate. Otherwise, we'll watch and wait. As soon as you have information on who this high keeper is, is a hobgoblin or Gentry or even Lalius of some sort. Come back to me. I want to know everything about this creature or person. Understood. Nature of the deal, what is the influences, where he reside in the edge, who has his underling, everything. 
All right. Of course. Good. You don't know how until now. Continue to do so. As for the babe, do not worry about him. We are taking care of him, and once his whole affair is said and done, we'll decide if he must return to his parent, if there is no danger, or if he must be protected. That's good. Good. You are dismissed. Thank you, sire. Um... Yeah, I guess we leave. You... Well, I guess we got our new orders. You leave the place, well, the room. Enzo, Go to our once again. Hallway. Yeah, Enzo once again has got you back, asking if you need anything else, if you can provide you with anything. Um, do you have? Um, is there a way to have information on? Uh, trods that are nearby, like near the community in the area, if anyone knows the hedge around this area, so we can orient ourselves better? Ah, well, we have a couple of trods, not much, I'm afraid. I guess one, well, the king of, the king of fall, of autumn, is the one who knows most about the age. Is I suggest well I could try to ask him. I could try to go through our records to see if there's any other truths that we might be aware of. But our main truths go to <clears throat> New Orleans. Thank you. Other than that, there is a drone market. Uh, somewhere in the edge. I do not know exactly where. It's outside of our jur jurisdiction, but you might want to go and get information. That might be smart. Um, out of context, uh, Emrek. Yes. I was just wondering: Does Hedge Sense allow to lo localize, like for example, this market that we don't know the exact location of? Yes, it helps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Same with Pathfinder, that should do yep. as well. Both can do it, yes. Cool. All right. Anything else? I can't think of anything right now. Likewise. Mm -hmm. Well, in that case, I wish you good luck. Thanks. All right, guys. What's the plan? I guess we need to um, make some preparations if we're planning on going to the hedge for an extended period of time. Indeed. Well, let's go ahead and go do it. Let's. Uh, yeah, maybe, I don't know exactly, I don't think, um, Fiddler would know how to prepare to travel in the hedge because she doesn't go there much, but maybe Varvin does? I mean, there's no... Sorry. Go on. Uh, I said that um, Fiddler probably doesn't know much about preparing to go into the hedge because she doesn't go there a lot, but maybe Varvin does? Yeah, maybe... Like, I don't have any, idea as a, any ideas as a player right now. Yeah, I don't know. Roll survival plus. No, you you do not navigate the edge. That's not really an issue. It's, it can be dangerous, but it's no real problem for navigating the edge. 
I meant more in the sense of uh, okay, for example, yeah. as a player, I would uh, I would make sure that we take uh, some gambling, uh, not gambling, but bargaining chips ah. if we meet, like if we meet Hobbs or something. But I, I don't know if Fiddler would know that, so I asked if maybe Arden would. Yes, uh, that's probably a good idea to take. Basically, anything goblins, fruit, uh, things that are common in the real world but hard for them to find, like uh, cell phones, uh, some books, colored things. Really, there's really, it really depends on uh, what kind of uh, bargains you want to do with what kind of hot goblins. Yeah, just take like a bag of um, I don't know miscellaneous items that we can bargain for. That that seems like a good well, idea. Well, if we need bargaining chips, we could always stop by, and I know where I can get some uh, fruit and uh, get you some of those. I think goblin fruit would uh, work. Oh yes, no, there are because... very good goblins. Oh, they are. Oh, cool, nice. Yeah. Yes, goblin fruit are very valuable to anyone. Yeah, one of the most valuable is my Amaranthi, which is what I actually have in my patch. I mean, I would never think to suggest, uh, like, maybe taking a few things from Varvin's pile of shinies, because I know he wouldn't be happy about that. <laughs> but, you know, maybe... Yeah, that might yeah. yeah. Might take a few, but that's not. I mean, it's your pile. I mean, you choose whatever you take from it. It's it's your your pile. No problem. Um, I I can take them if it really helps, but uh, it has to be really worth it. No problem. I mean, it makes sense, you know. I'll go. I'll go select uh, a handful of shinies from my pile to hopefully never bug in. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. I know. I know they're extremely valuable. So... Like this, this bo like this bent bubble cap. Like it's so valuable. You would never oh, want to pour it in. Well, my head could easily become very valuable by becoming a token. I mean, just the fact that you care about them so much makes them valuable. Yeah, I know. As a as a player, I know yeah. that. So I know that they have some value in the eyes of a hob, something like that. Uh, I'll take my you violin. You also know that you can. Well, you also know that you can trade more esoteric currencies like. Promises or s memories or even strong emotion or abilities, that sort of thing. Oh, yeah, no, that's why I wanted to take my violin if you know they wanted to buy some bargain some music from, from me. Sure, uh, like melodies and songs uh... that I would not be able to play anymore after that. I thought you were gonna sell your violin. <laughs> no, what? Oh, are you crazy? No, <laughs> my fiddler. My fiddle, no, sorry. You can always trade a song or something. Yeah, that's uh, what I mean. Like trading a song, the memory of a song, the ability to play it, like that, that might be valuable. Like a musically inclined hob. Actually, I'll look up, looking at around for fruit from my gotten patch. Uh, could, uh, if it would help uh, me and probably everyone else, if you could just take the mysterious note and like rate what you're taking in it, so we know what we have. You all have mysterious notes, like this, this is a journal for everyone. Yeah. Do I have anything to take from my pile? Yeah, I can take like abstract things, like a memory. Well, you have your memory with you. Yeah. I mean, like, I don't think Ren has anything of value, like physical. Go deal with something abstract. Yep. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, you after gathering all well, trinkets and baubles, 
Chinese and even abstract things, I believe you will begin to go to the edge. If I'm not mistaken. That seems to be the goal. And once we're in the hedge, I will trigger the Pathfinder contract. As All right. will I. I'll take a slight detour over to grab my goblin fruit before we uh, head out. All right. Just uh, how many goblin fruits and from on which day? Uh, I can have up to three. I don't know the different kinds. I'm not sure we actually determined that. Uh, then I'll determine it now. Yeah. Martin's taking Amaranth. All right. Uh, let me see. Where are they? I don't remember. I don't either. Martin, <laughs> token, edge spinning goblin fruit. Uh, Admin, you can have things called Noga paper, which makes me immune to fear. Oh, that's uh, pretty cool. What about an Admin? Mm. Hmm. Uh, I, I could just take some peppers. All right, then you're gonna gonna take some papers. Uh, it says that uh, I can only carry a certain amount depending on my weird. How much out is of, that? Of, out of the edge. And oh, out of the edge. Okay, so I can just kind of like stuff in my one, pocket. At with one, you can only take uh three goblins with you out of the edge. All right, so basically all of them. Yes. Uh, and how? What was the chapter? Was the chapter a session? I keep forgetting what their terms are. What? A uh, session. A uh, ch chapter is a session, yes. Okay, cool. So I can actually do this really frequently. Yeah. You all begin to go through the edge and activate your Pathfinder contracts. Uh, I don't believe there's a role for it. No, it just activates. And uh, we can use the loophole pretty. Yes. Uh, the, the edge uh, around the Wild Willow Freehold, you know. You all know pretty well. It's uh, it's basically a swamp town, and we we do have. I think I think you told us that we have a plus one bonus to navigate it uh, within the White Willow yes. territory. Yep, you will have. Uh, you you easily manage to find a path. It's not really a troll. Well, it's maybe a troll information uh, to what you think at the end is the market, and since it seems to be frequented at least. Ah, kind of easily. That doesn't you don't sense any hostile creature. Um, right. um, where? Just a second. I'm getting a bit tired, so I yes. skipped over some parts. Where are we headed again? A place called the Drone Market. Okay. To the which is the big goblin market in your area. Right. Uh, you don't have the edge. Uh, as again, the fawn here manifests as a swarm of mosquitoes or, um, or in the aquatic part of it, uh, aggressive fish and leeches. But you manage to, to find a path that is beaten down in, uh, in the dirt, but still practical. Uh, I would like you to choose who's going to lead you to the edge. Well, I trust Varvin with it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, let's let's go. We're all right. All right. Oh. I'll so need you. What do hmm? I roll again? Uh, with survival. With I, do, I believe. Survival. And plus one for the hedge sense. Does and, plus, the... and plus one because you are in the you're still in the, your freehold territory. Okay, and Pathfinder does. No, it does. It just tells you the direction. You find the direction pretty easily. You're not going. Um, you're not going blind in this. You know where to go, which is pretty useful. All right, now Two. let's roll. Let's roll for the edge. 
Oh yeah, I forgot it's it, uh, <laughs> yes. the contest. It is. Mm -hmm. All right. I do believe it doesn't have any. I don't think any of you. Oh, one of you is spooked. Oh, when did we get spooked? It's uh, Ren who got spooked by the like uh, golden haired <laughs> yeah. lady. Oh, that was the effect of it. Okay. Uh, well, you, begin, there is a... you begin to walk to the you know the vegetation and you sense it try to shift and lose you on its trail, but you manage to, you know, uh, remain on the path that you are. I want you to roll another So with the plus one or plus two? Plus two still. Um... By the way, Ren, I don't know if you read the the whole thing. Uh, if you want to resolve your condition, like remove it, you need to like fulfill some uh, condition, like some some, you know, it's up there. Yeah, I've got to hinder the group or complicate yeah, things. You need to hinder us at some point to resolve it. Yes. Okay. Uh, I feel like ten minutes of walking and following Vavan. You feel that you're near the place. Uh, Vavon, you feel the edge shifting really fast around you, like you can hear in the distance. The place uh, begins to look more like, more thorny, like walls of uh, thorn and vegetation. Uh, really have, you know, you don't see any building, uh, like near, when you're near New Iberia, like the buildings are abandoned, but they're present on the side of the edge, but not right now. You... Uh, and a last roll, please. Well. And you managed to to arrive uh, just before just before the edge tried to lose you again. Uh, you guys arrive. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pull the no. This one maybe. Yeah. You guys arrive at uh, a pound in the middle of nowhere. There's no one to be seen. No one, nothing, except for uh, a small sign on just near the pound, just at the entrance of it. Hmm. On the sign, it reads market rule. No ads. No picking figure no. nails. No hats? Yeah, no hats. No hats. No picking figure nails. Uh, no one is allowed to play with bones. No take back. A deal is a deal. No violence. And there's a postscript at the end of a the, the wooden sign. Just plow, just uh, dive into the pound. Dive into what? The pound. A pond? The pound, yes, a pound. Hmm. Uh and there is one right nearby to the sign, yes. Yes. There is. Alright. I'll go ahead and dive in. Well, uh, no. Does anyone have a hat? Nope. Yeah. No. Who I said yeah? Know. Someone said yeah, no? Uh, no. I All right. said no. Okay, sorry. Um, well, I believe you follow Twitch. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Follow. So you all begin to dive into the pound. Uh, as soon as you enter, you hands into the water, uh, you feel yourself uh, being lifted up. And you emerge on this place. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it's pretty big for a market. It's huge. Yeah. Damn, have we ever been there? Before? No, nope. It's it is huge, yeah. 
but uh, you can see that uh, lots of it is covered by the thorns. So most of it must not be practical. It's just another area of the, of the hedge. And yes, the market is big. Uh, a lot of it seems to be, it seems to be in sort, sort of not unsafe territory, but a bit wild. Uh, you're all floating in the water, but soon uh, a little boat uh, with a hot golden that is, you cannot see anything, like it's dressed in a cloak and it's, uh, yeah, it's a paddle and it begins to, it takes you on the boat and go uh, up <clears throat> and it go take you ashore to one of the elevators to go to the roof when you see like, um, many up goblins and you think some changing? You're not sure. Like you're going about the business, people are crying, like advertising their stuff. And as you take the elevator, uh, you can. See it's kind of weird because you feel gravity shifts as you approach from the roof, but you can't really see it uh, as you as you are uh, taken to the roof. The first like. As soon as your feet touches the ground, everything shifts and you're suddenly on the floor. And the water is, well, everything is ups and upside down, basically. Hmm. Well, that's, well, that's a little crazy. <laughs> yeah. It is. And. He'll, like, shake himself and, like, jump up and down to make sure gravity's working. It is working. And you can hear the. All the tumult of the market, you can sight, smells, you can see something that looks like a wolf made of, of wires uh, going through the streets. Uh, people are advertising the strange thing. And oh, we already we have the administration, so I think it's a good place to stop. Right when you go to the crazy, crazy, crazy market. That'll do yeah. a nice, nice session. Time. The, uh, that was that was really cool. Yeah, it was I, cool. Yeah, I really had a lot of fun. Uh, great, I'm glad you had fun. Yes. Uh, all right. So everyone begins to take two bits per session. And okay. is there? Uh, is there uh, your aspiration? Did anyone? Uh, achieve an aspiration or make significant progress in it? I believe I've achieved two. Do a task, succeed in a task with the coterie and uh, yeah, gather more information about the cult. Uh, you did succeed to scare out the place, but you did not really gather a lot of information about the cult. It's more like, yes, it's a cult, but and there's a cult leader and a the object of watching, but what are the name? What are they doing? Why? You did not. You don't really know. So that's a bit. Um, I don't. I don't. I don't seem to remember having defended anyone. Nah. Yeah, we've like specifically avoided confrontation so far, which is good for us, but bad for beat. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, uh, I see respiration. You'll definitely have. Uh, Opportunities to accomplish in the markets next session. Yeah. <laughs> Yay! That that'll be a good idea to try and defend people in the market. That'll certainly not get me kicked out. <laughs> no, no, no! Absolutely, like, no problem would come of you trying to defend someone from like, oh god, no. That's gonna, That's be, gonna a be a whole thing. <laughs> oh god. Also, I really hope no one tries to steal your shinies. God, no. Uh, if, if they do, they're gonna, like, I'm gonna check how far the gravity works. <laughs> I can't imagine someone looking, yeah, um, I can't imagine someone looking at Varvone and going, that's the guy I want to steal from. You like, do, uh, it's kinda dumb, though. You but do know that, so friendly. You, you do know that um, some goblins can steal things, but it's same market, even if it's not a rule. Uh, still, a thief uh, are severely punished. You do not like. You can be in a position when you get yourself ripped off, but it's a deal. Then stealing is, nah. That's not really a thing in markets. 
Okay. There are so razor Varvin, wire wolves. Varvin, They're kind of scary. Gra Varvin, ground rule. You do not speak to any merchant without us. You do not make <laughs> any deal without us. <laughs> yes, because Aww. as, as soon as like Varvin, you like, Varvin together. As soon as Ravun like uh, lay eyes on market, there's so many shinies of all no, sides. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah. I think I think I'm gonna get. I I've got to get some some beats and some new ch new shiny. But guys, look at these shoes. They light up when you stomp no, them on the ground. No, no, please, no. <laughs> Wonderful. I don't know if they make uh, shoes that light up in in Varvin's size. Oh, you bet you ask Oh, hey. God, <laughs> they will. Wait, they will you get, like, Varvo and some Heelys or something, you know? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Imagine. Like, just roleplay as a freight train, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, Ren's going to have to do something stupid to shake off this spook. Oh, time. my Lord. I'm going to be the only yeah. one with, like, a bit, like, somehow reasonable in this. And that's not, no, I'm not going to be reasonable either. Wait, no. <laughs> It's hard to be reasonable at the yeah. Goblin Market. Yeah, okay, no, I'm not gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> Alright! Well, that's it for this week. I'm glad you had fun. Yay! Yeah! Yay! Very big. Uh, I don't believe anyone still has... already has a point of experience. It would be very... No. But no. I'm one beat no. from it. <laughs> Did we get Soon. any beats last session? Yes, one. you get you got one. Okay, you know, because oh, cool. it was it was kind of short, so Yes. I, um, I forgot to mark this one down. Oh. So, yeah. yeah, I'm I'm four beats in. Me too. Me too. I'm only three. Poor me. You need to do some dramatic failures. I do, yes. and Goblin Market is the best place to do them. Oh, no. I, ah, yes. <laughs> I sure did is. Forgot, uh, exactly. Uh, speaking of, I did forgot something. Beldum. Uh, for those who don't know, Beldum is basically uh, changing our very tight to glamour, which is the essence of emotion and passion. So, Bel changing bedlam. can use Beldum. Yeah, not to bother you, it's Bedlam, I think. Yeah, Bedlam. I think that's what I say, Bedlam. Uh, but um, Changeling usually use it. Uh, you you roll your manipulation in weird, and you can inspire emotion in other people. But one per scene, for a bit, you can say that your Bedlam activates for itself, and it's out of, of your control, and instill an emotion of my choosing to people around you. That's the way to gain beats. It's really dangerous because you can fuck everything up, but you know. Something to keep in mind. I probably need to cover like regaining glamour at some point, so I'm being a little conservative yes. at the moment until I figure it out. You can regain glamour by eating goblins' fruit and basically harvesting glamour from people, you know, being inciting on being here when they have a, um, a deep emotion. Mm -hmm. And you can do something that's called rip glamour when you, well, you rip the glamour out of someone. That, but that's not very nice because that hurts them. Um, oh no! But we can only do this to humans, right? Uh yes. Uh, you can only uh, have this glamour from humans. You cannot have this I... have this glamour from other changelings. Yeah, that's that's what I remembered from first edition, but I wasn't sure if that carried over to the second one. It's still a thing. You cannot address glamour for the fae being. Okay. I mean, that's logical. Like, or else we'll be like just Since... jumping at each other at every corner, like boo, and just like harvesting <laughs> the glamour from that. I do seem to remember there's some power that makes you steal glamour, but that's not the same thing. And I, do, mm -hmm. I think it's really, really hard to get and not really worth it aside from, you know, fucking with someone else's glamour. Right. <laughs> Which is not nice. I, I remember that in first edition there was a goblin contract that allowed you, like, you inflicted, I think it was two or three lethals on yourself, splashed someone with your blood, and it immediately drained them of all glamour. Oh, which, which was not was, nice. Which oh was God. pretty hardcore, especially since it worked on True Fae too. 
Uh, I think autumn has some contract or mental things that makes you like lose glamour or lose any supernatural power um, reserve of energy. But uh, I'll, I'll have to... well, that's not nice. But it's yeah, it, it's useful. Uh... Yeah, it's also sorcerer's rebuke, but it doesn't get you like it doesn't make you steal glamour. Just like destroy glamour in a target, so it's useful, but it requires right. at least three. Oh, um, sorry, uh, yeah. I almost forgot. Um, any changing uh, swimming safe to a freehold can get a common contract for another court, and like you don't. And then, if you want to have a contract from another court, you need uh, court goodwill, so it's possible to be someone from summer and have autumn. Winter or spring contract. Mm -hmm. Just keep need, that in mind. You need the merit first. Uh, there's one exception. You can all get a common contract for all the courts because the seasonal courts cooperate between themselves. So as long as you're part of a court, oh. you can learn a contract from another one. Oh, right. One. Okay. So in total, you can learn, I think you can learn free contract without having to have good court goodwill. So you, that's you really can't, like, it's not like in first edition, like, you really, really can't go without a court. You, no, you can go with other courts. Uh, well, it's, it's dangerous, still... though. Yeah, yeah but just, really you, can... hard. You, you just have to get good, good will to get some contracts. That's all. Oh, so you can, you can get court goodwill without being actually in a court. Yes, you can. It comes with a mentor and a connection to this court. Basically, you're nice. very like in this court, and you can learn some contract of there. So that's likely what Enzo has out the wazoo. Yes, it's the very wazoo. likely. It's very likely that he has a court goodwill for everyone. Right. Nice. All right, I'm gonna leave you guys. But yes. uh, yeah, I had a great uh, time today. Yeah, uh, I'm cool. Next time, market